In this video series, we will cover the cell screen. So the first thing that might come to mind is why are we covering the cell screen video series last if it's the first thing that I see every time I log into Katana? And to be fair, that's actually a wonderful question. And the reason why we're covering it last is because the cell screen itself is basically the dashboard that is a culmination of all of the intelligence that's gathered across all of the sections we've already covered in Katana, but displayed to you in a single dashboard. So what you'll see on the screen on the cell screen page um, are numerous colored boxes, which are giving similar information, just like we have have found on the make screen with respect to the real-time planner. So we're going to cover the real-time planner. Um, also how sales orders are related to production orders and how what's coming out of your production environment is being booked to sales, for example, and also the delivery status that's related to the fulfillment stage that a sales order is presently in. So this is the main chunk of data that you will see with respect to everything that's happening on the back end of your uh, Katana account. So the idea here is that what Katana wants to deliver value in your business is how can I manage my client's sales orders with respect to what's going on in my manufacturing and my purchasing activities, as well as my inventory activities. The biggest disconnect in businesses that are scaling up is the relationship between what's going on in sales with their actual manufacturing. And when that is broken, then the line of communication that is giving customer demands going to the production floor or the inventory demands, for example, as well as what's happening with your resources and all your other orders that depend, that your customers will eventually depend on getting sent up to the sales order level, Katana bridges that gap on this page to give you that information that you need to make those decisions. And that's really the main value that uh, the sell screen is all about. So we'll get into some of those as well as we move forward. Um, over here to the left side, we still have a ranking possibility. So drag and drop functionality. Uh, this will also be covered in the real-time planner, which um, is quite similar to the make screen, but a little bit more comprehensive due to the fact that the sales layer and the purchase order layer are also connected. We have the sales order numbers and the customer that they're related to, as well as the total amount of money that they are paying for the sales orders, along with the delivery deadline of the orders that are received. There are a couple other areas that are visible on the sell screen, but not currently in our example. And those are related to our integrations, such as the Shopify and WooCommerce integration that we have, which are native integrations. You'll see that if you're using multi-channel sales as a business model, and you've got Katana hooked up, not just to your e-commerce platforms, but you might be using a variety of API and other ways to pull in sales orders. For example, if you're on the pro plan, um, you'll be able to see like off to the right, like little logos related to uh, items coming from Shopify or WooCommerce supported by our native integrations. In addition to that, uh, we also have an extra column that can be visible here for our um, integration with our accounting softwares, which include QuickBooks Online, as well as Xero. So the ability to write and in make invoices on a sales order is something that we currently support as well. And we will cover these on the integration series where, um, where we'll give an overview of how that works and how it looks inside of the user interface. So in addition to that, a lot of the same elements are visible here. Uh, open sales orders are listed on this screen. Done sales orders are listed on the done screen, which is a tab. And um, you can identify the different locations for which you fulfill orders from. So even though in earlier videos, I have a second location, I don't on this account since I made a new demo. But um, uh, for example, if you're doing fulfillment from a warehouse, you can route your sales orders to go to the different locations where they need to generate the commitment for the product that has to be sent out to that customer's order. And we've also got an exporting option available for uh, basically for both the open and done order list. We also have bulk actions supported as well, which we'll briefly cover as uh, in another video too. Um, and another thing that 
uh, didn't mention yet is the quotes screen. The quotes screen is basically the idea is if you are taking a customer through the quoting process and you don't want to commit product yet to a sales order until you've actually um, confirmed an order with a client. It is possible to create a quote in Katana and then convert a quote into a sales order once confirmation is received. So this will help you uh, in scenarios where you don't want to like pre-book your products that are either A, in inventory or taking up manufacturing time. So that in general is a simple overview of the sell screen. So let's go ahead and get into it.